For 3.2, we'll be going over quadratic formula again, and our solutions will be irrational and complex. We will only be doing the start. A is a negative 6, B is a 5, C is a 5. B goes first, then A, then C. I simplify it, negative 5 plus or minus the square root over 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. I'm going to do 5 squared minus 4 times negative 6 times 5 gives me 145. Now last class period when I square rooted 145, it gave me a whole value. <clears throat> Today's is a decimal. So I need to try and simplify the root. So I'm going to check what is the square root of 145. 145, because I get a decimal, I need to divide by 5. 5 times 29, and then I try and divide 29, when I am going through trying to divide, if it won't reduce and it doesn't have any common factors, then I can't take any of these values out of the root, so it won't um, it won't change. That means my final answer, if it says to write it with a plus or minus in it, I would just copy this. If it says to use a comma, then I would write my answer as negative 5 plus root 145 over negative 12, comma, copy and paste, and change it to a minus. For your final answer. Question 3. I have that a is a negative 2, b is missing, and the 3 is my c. I plug b in, then a, then c. That gives us 0 plus or minus the square root over negative 4. 0 squared minus 4 times negative 2 times 3 is 24. When I try and square root 24, it gives me a decimal. So I need to check. Twenty four would be two times twelve. Twelve would be two times six. Six would be two times three. Two gets to leave. Two and three are left inside. They can't pair up and leave, so I'd have a six left inside. So now when I fix, when I fix my zero plus or minus. I'll now have a 2 root 6 in its place. Then I will reduce. The root 6 will always stay the same, but I'm going to try and divide all of these in half. 0 cut in half is 0. 2 cut in half is 1. 4 cut in half is negative 2. 
If I look and I can't reduce it again, then I'm done and I just need to tag on the six on the end. If it says to separate with a comma, I would separate with a comma. Question five. A is a two, B is a negative eight, C is a negative two. Plug B in first, then A, then C. That gives us a positive 8 plus or minus square root over 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 8 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 2 is 80. I'm going to check what root 80 becomes. Eighty would be eight times ten, four times two, two times five, two times two. So I have these doubles and these. The five is left inside. When I take two twos out, two times two makes a four, and the five is left inside. So when I fix, I'll have an 8 plus or minus over 4 with the square root of 80 replaced with a 4 root 5. When we reduce, you can shortcut and go straight to dividing by 4. If I cut in half, 8 cut in half is 4, 4 cut in half is 2. 4 cut in half is 2. Then I ask, can I reduce this again? Yes. 4 cut in half becomes a 2. 2 cut in half becomes a 1. 2 cut in half becomes a 1. Can I reduce this again? No. 1 would become a decimal if I cut it in half. I put the root 5 on the end. If it says to separate with commas, my final answer. Right. Next page, question one. A is negative five, B is negative three, C is negative five. Plug in B first, then A, then C. Two negatives make a positive three. Two times negative five is negative ten. Negative three squared minus four times negative five times negative five makes negative 91. When I have a negative and a square root, it's going to become an, a complex solution or imaginary. So when I check, One breaks down to 7 times 13. There's no double numbers, so nothing can leave. The only thing that can leave is this negative, and it's going to become an I. So for my final answer, I'll have 3 plus or minus over negative 10 with an I root 91. If 
it says to separate with commas. I would copy and paste and change the plus to a minus. Question four. I have that A is negative two, B is missing, and C is negative five. B goes in first, then A, then C. When we simplify it, we get zero plus or minus square root over negative four. Zero squared minus four, negative two, negative five, negative 40. When I check, negative 40, that becomes negative 4 times 10, 2 times 2, and 2 times 5. The 2's get to leave, the i is from the negative, and there's a 10 left inside. 0 plus or minus over negative 4. I replace the root with a 2i root 10. If I reduce, I get 0 cut in half is 0, 2 cut in half is 1, and 4 cut in half is negative 2. If I try and cut the 1 in half again, it'll become a decimal, so I'm going to stop there. If it says to write with a comma, I'd copy and paste it and write it with a minus. Question seven. It's not equal to zero, I need to fix it. I'm going to minus seven. That makes this a positive five. A is one, B is negative four, C is five. Plug in B, A, C. That gives us a positive 4 plus or minus the square root over 2. Negative 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 5 is negative 4. When I check, Negative 4 is 2 times 2. The 2's can leave, and the negative makes an i. There's nothing left in the root. So I'll have 4 plus or minus over 2, with this becoming a 2i. When I cut it in half and reduce it, this becomes 4 cut in half is 2. 1i over 1. I cannot combine these together because of the i. It's kind of like an x, like a variable. I can't combine them together. 6 needs to be over here with the 2. When I minus 6, it makes it a negative 4. a is negative 4. B is 1, C is also a negative 4. B goes first, then A, then C. That gives me a negative 1 plus or minus the root over a negative 8. 
1 squared minus 4 times negative 4 times negative 4, negative 63. I'm going to check what negative 63 is. Um, 63 will be divisible by 3 to make a 21. Twenty-one is three times seven. Three gets to leave. The negative makes it an I. Seven is left in. Negative one, plus or minus, over negative eight. I replace the root with a three I root seven. I can't reduce. One won't cut in half. So then my final answer, if it says to separate with a comma, Copy and paste it, and change the plus in the center to a minus. For the ACT questions, A is a 5, B is a 5, C is a negative 1, negative B plus or minus the square root. That would be B first, then A, then C. When I type the inside in, I get 5 squared minus 4 times 5 times negative 1 is 45. When I check 45, That would be 5 times 9, 3 times 3, 3 gets to leave, 5 stays in. So I would have negative 5 plus or minus 3 root 5 over 10. Negative 5 plus 3 root 5 over 10 and minus. Describe the solutions to the following quadratic. I would have A is a 1, B is a negative 1, C is a negative 2. B goes first, then A, then C. When I type in the negative 1 squared, Minus 4 times 1 times negative 2, I get a 9. Square root of 9 is a 3. These are rational solutions, and there are two of them. Two rational solutions. If they had had eyes, they would have been complex. If there would have been a root left over, it would have been irrational. Now it says we have 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 16. 16 is 4 times 4. That makes it a 4i. That is the same thing.